Let's achieve the day to excel tomorrow. Today we're looking at vertical angles and corresponding angles. Okay, to begin with, we have vertical angles. Important thing about vertical angles are they are equal. Vertical angles are angles that are opposite each other. Here we have a array of uh, two lines. We have angle A here and angle A here. These two angles are vertical angles. They're opposite each other. They're equal. So if I knew that this angle here was 140, then I know this angle is 140. They are equal. Likewise, these two are across from each other. They are vertical angles. They are equal. How would I find that? Well, from our previous lesson, we said a straight line is supplementary, 180 degrees. So if that angle is 140, this one must be 40. Because together, they'd make 180. They would be supplementary. They would be 180 and make a straight line. So this one is 40. If this one's 40, this one's 40. So vertical angles, they are equal. They're directly opposite each other. And you can find the other one by using your supplementary rule. Okay, corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are also equal. Corresponding angles are angles that lie in the same location on different lines. We have two lines here with a transversal coming through the middle. So we have angle A is on top of this line and to the left of the transversal. Down here, angle A would be on top of the line and to the left. So angle A here and here are corresponding angles and they're equal. They're going to measure, have the same measure. Likewise, B and B, C and C, D and D. Those are all corresponding. They'll have the same measure. So if we came in here and said angle B is, I like to use 40, it seems like. We'll put 40 degrees here. If angle B is 40 and they want me to name the rest of the angles here, I should be able to do that because I know from just now vertical angles are the same. If this is 40, this is 40. I know a straight line is supplementary. So if this is 40, this must be 140. If this is 140, because of the vertical angles, this is 140. Because of corresponding angles, if A is 140 up here, A is 140 down here. These are vertical, 140. If B is 40 up here, B is 40 down here. These are vertical, 40. So therefore, with one angle, I can find all of my angles by knowing the rules for corresponding angles, by knowing the rules for vertical angles, and by remembering about supplementary angles being 180 degrees. This is looking at vertical and corresponding angles. Let's achieve today to excel tomorrow.